So we're in Glacier. Um, we're gonna try to get some shots, but the light could not be any worse right now. I've got all my 85 millimeters, so just gonna try and get a few creative shots. As you can see, there's no clouds in the sky, it's the middle of the day, not prime shooting time, but right here, I really like how this waterfall lines up with these peaks up there. I got my 16 millimeter on, and it's, uh, it's not quite enough, so I'm actually gonna do a panorama, and I'm gonna be shooting horizontal. I've got my polarizer on too, to kind of help with the sky a little bit. And I'm just gonna start down here, and then I'm just gonna shoot rapid fire and smoothly pan up. And then later in Lightroom, I can show you guys how I stitch that all together. So for this shot, I want to get as much of this waterfall that I can in here with as much of the peaks as I can. And right now I've got an ND1000 filter on so I can get a nice long exposure even though it's the middle of the day with the sun. I've got a six second shutter, F6.3 for a solid focus all around, and ISO 100 because I don't want any grain or any noise or anything. So we weren't going to stop again until make Lake McDonald, but as we're driving down the road, we just come across this. I hope it comes through on the video, but this water is extremely blue and it has these crazy red rocks in it. So we'll probably just get a few quick photos of the polarizer, nothing crazy, but it's just beautiful. Okay, so we're at Lake McDonald right now. It's the end of our day. Last stop. Just getting a few last shots right now. Uh, we've been battling really bad light all day, but we're still kind of sick, so we're just gonna rush to California in big city so maybe we can get some better medicine because we've been kind of out in the mountains the last few days. So that's it for this episode, but to the computer.
All right, what's up guys? So now we're gonna go over a few photos for Glacier National Park. And this is the kind of first episode where we shot entirely in the middle of the day without a single cloud in the sky. And I was not happy about it. I was definitely sick this day, still getting over a cold, but I was just not in a mood this day. But we were still able to pull out some cool shots. I actually am pretty happy with this one. This is just a single exposure. Um, I don't think this really needs much, but I'm going to still do my base edits, make sure everything stays in balance, bring up the vibrance, and when you shoot midday, it's really easy for your sky to get really, really blue really quick. Um, so I know that, but I will get to that in a second. Just want to make sure. My light is all good. Do a slight S curve because there are some dark shadows. I just want to make that water pop. Definitely. And for this, when I, the sky is just too blue like this, I'm just going to bring up the luminance, honestly, a lot. I'm going to bring the saturation down and the hue, just a touch to the aqua, just kind of helps get rid of that really, I don't know, just deep blue look. Um, and I kind of want the rest of the image to pop. So I'm going to bring up the yellows and oranges because that does a good job of bringing everything else up. As you can see, that definitely helped a lot. Greens, though. I'm going to keep those pretty green. And the yellows maybe more towards orange. Maybe bring the luminance of the orange up a little bit. And probably the greens. And this guy is just killing me. So I'm going to just bring a graduated filter in. And up that exposure and desaturate more if need to be. That's probably fine. And then just going to clean up the sky where it needs it. Oops. Keep hitting the backslash key instead of the brackets. And that, that's it for this one, guys. Okay, so here's an image I am super stoked on. I've actually somehow never seen this spot. I mean, I've definitely seen it, but maybe I've never seen it in these conditions where the water is just this crazy, crazy emerald color. Uh, but similar to the last photo, all my initial shots had this just nasty deep blue sky, midday, no clouds. Oops. So I just was definitely not happy with those photos. But then as I kept shooting, I kind of cropped in a little bit so I didn't have to kind of deal with that at all. And I kind of just had the water watercolor I wanted. I really liked kind of the S curve to this river and just the background being trees. I'm just gonna do a light room edit on this. And I'm gonna try to really make the colors pop. And just to show you guys how easy it is, I'm gonna try to keep this one in Lightroom Bring up the vibrance a little bit, the clarity a stop or two. I did have a polarizer on for this, so there totally was some glare on this water, but just by turning my variable polarizer, I was really able to cut that glare and get a deep, rich color in this water. For this photo, there is gonna be some overlap when I touch the HSL tab, because these trees up here are yellows and greens. Some of this rock has just a hint of yellow, some orange. There's definitely some orange down in these rocks. And this water is a mixture of blue, aqua, and green. So as I'm touching the HSL sliders, I do need to be careful and weary of that. But I know I'm going to bring the yellows over a bit. The oranges, if I could, spring a little bit to the red side. And I really want those to be rich. So I want to saturate those a lot. And I'm just going to see what the aqua slider does on the hue. Go really green, which I, I don't like. Or almost purple, I also don't like. But I think a little bit to the right just richens it from here. 
to here, and I think also I'd like if it was a bit brighter, so I'm going to crank the luminance of that. I think that looks awesome. And I'm going to bring up the saturation of that as well. I'm just going to see if bringing up the regular blue luminance helps brighten that too. Not much, but I'll still bring it up a little bit. And that looks a little too overexposed. So I'm going to drop the highlights, drop the whites. But to be honest, that's it. I'm, I love the colors on this photo, and, and it really doesn't need much. There's that before, there's the after for that one. So for the last photo in Glacier, I already put just a quick Lightroom edit on it, kind of just because it's the same thing I would always do for the photo. I'll show you guys the before and after. And for this, I only really wanted to mess with the hue slider of this photo and show you guys what you can do just with this tool alone, because it's a really awesome tool. So this was taken at Lake McDonald where the rocks are extremely colorful. I waited for the waves to pass so I could get kind of just no water or no breaking of the water or waves to kind of distract from the rocks. And I'm just going to mess around with these sliders and try to make a really dramatic photo from this and just show you how powerful this, this tool is. So first and foremost, I think there's a lot of oranges. So I'm going to just mess with that. I don't like that. I really like when there's some rich reds over here. But because that is very heavy, I think I'm going to bring the reds closer to the orange side to kind of balance that. Because if I do that, that's way too much. And let's see with the yellows. Too red. That's kind of nice, but it's a little too green. So I'll just keep it there. See what the greens do. Mm, bring that a little bit to the right as well. Aquas don't notice much of a difference so keep that at zero and blues don't notice much of a difference but I'm gonna bring them more to the purple side because there's already a good amount of greens in here see what purple gives us again really nothing oops magenta I also don't really notice much there but from this alone, I think this already gave the photo a lot of depth. I think this is a really cool photo, even though it's extremely simple. So to show you the before and after of just messing with the hues, go from that to that. And I think that's a super cool photo. So I'm going to leave it at that and export it. Um, I know this wasn't probably the, the coolest behind the lens because of the spots and because of having to hit them in the middle of the day. However, this is reality. Sometimes photographers don't get ideal conditions sometimes they're in a rush to get to another spot so some places they have to go in the middle of the day and just do what they can but this was shot in the middle of the day so sometimes you also just have to get a little bit creative with it and just make the most of it hope you guys enjoyed